Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel And of course Andy Cohen is trying to be messy honey Messy 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 He is the epitome of a petty woman A petty petty woman But we gonna celebrate We are going to celebrate 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 Yes Honey we are too much right now Tired of talking about Portia and Portia's family matters that Bravo brought out. Okay, and it probably had a little hand in it, giving Portia a spinoff, trying to make us believe this farce of a relationship is actually going to lead to marriage. Come on, who are you kidding? He tried to get Candy, guys. He tried to get Candy on the hot seat to talk about Portia on primetime TV and to boost his ratings up too. And you know. Portia and um, Candy had had fallen out about Candy talking about her and her business and her men and this, that, and the third. Y'all remember when Candy was trying to tell Portia about Dennis and she didn't want to listen. And she was, you know, going off in social media talking about Candy, this, that, and the third. And they had words back and forth. But they have mended. I wouldn't say it's a friendship, but they have remended a relationship that they're going to keep it kosher between them two. And Candy only really came to talk about Candy and the game because it, it premiered last night. And she wanted to answer questions and see how people were liking what they saw. Okay? Because she's trying to be Vanderpump, y'all. She is trying to be Vanderpump. Okay? So let's celebrate. Let's celebrate, 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 ah! Oh. But we got to throw a little shade in there. Now, you know, it wouldn't be me if I didn't have to throw a little shade in there. Because Andy Cohen was being very shady with his shady ass. All right. And he, like I said, he might be trying to bring up his ratings as well. But instead of him fully talking about Ken and the gang, he had to throw Portia Williams in there. Like, well, how did you like Portia's Family Matters show? And Candy was like, I know this bouncer ain't ask me about somebody's show that everybody in every walks of life was talking about. No, this helper didn't. And I was like, get him, Candy. Get him, girl. But she was a class act. We salute her once again because if the shoe was on the other foot, probably Portia would have said something really sly and nasty, okay? Because that's just what she deals like. She don't know how to answer them interview questions and to answer them in a very classy and professional way. So, I guess he was messing with Candy just to see how intelligent she was or how on point she was going to try to be as being professional to someone she really didn't. Well, she started off having a good relationship with, and it ended up very sourly. Okay. But, Cassie, so honey, I don't play the game long enough. I don't got my acting skills in order, and I'm going to shade your ass, okay? So, when he brought the question up through somebody uh, that called in or whatnot, and they wanted to ask, you know, the guest host, uh, which Candy was last night on Watch What's Happens Live, uh, he was being messy. He knew what he was setting them up for. Carson and uh, for his set of questions as well as Candy and her set of questions. And one couple came over asking Candy how did um um what did she ask Candy? It was how did she like the show or something that Portia's Family Matters was uh about and she was like, I like it. I really do. I really like the show. And then they were asking uh, whether Portia had went too far too fast with Simon. And she was like, uh, ooh, I'm going to get in trouble when I say this. But she kept it cute and simple and to the point. And she just said, well, you know, I had told Portia about she fell in love a little bit too fast when we were talking about Dennis. And we had made a pact. But I'm going to say, Simon... And her, they really, you know, was uh, they moved too fast. And she says, no shade to Simon or anything like that. But she said, I think I'm a hush now because I had made a promise to Portia that I wasn't going to talk about her life and her men. And I was like, okay, girl, touch on it very lightly and glaze right on by. And I was like, do your thing, girl. That was the shadiest, most professional answer reply that i heard in a long time so i'm like go ahead girl and you know he always got himself messed up uh with kenya and portia and 
They should have really got on Andy and suspended him for having that notion come up with all those props Kenya had and, and got uh, Portia in such a tailspin to where she couldn't take it no more. Because I'm like, hey, everybody was at fault. Andy was at fault for letting it go on. And he should have took them props from Kenya. And Portia was at fault when she put her hands on Kenya. Mercifully. Mercifully. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, Kenya did, I mean, uh, Kenya did the most professional thing. Just just stay there and let everything happen so she can get a nice lawsuit going on. Okay? And I'm pretty sure she got a pretty penny out of Portia's and Barbara's uh, checking accounts. Okay? That's all I got to say. Kenya will be winning. She'll be thankful in their head. Even though she probably want to fight back. But I don't know what rough ass Portia, she probably would have swung Kenya from side to side. But Kish, uh, Kenya, her mind, she would have been thinking, Ooh, Lord. Ooh, money. Here, money. There, money. Here, money. There. You know what I'm saying? She just went into another deep space of thinking. But, uh, yeah, Kenya won on the end. Grandma's, Grandma Skeens, she won at the end. And it cost, I'm pretty sure, Andy Cohen something, Bravo something, and Kenya. I mean, oh, uh, Portia Williams something. But yes, honey, I was like, now ain't this this ninja something to be trying to use Candy to talk about Portia and whatever it is, what type of relationship they got going on between Simon and Portia. And I was like, Andy, Andy, Andy. And 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 you barking up the wrong tree as usual, cause Candy has learned from you, Bravo, the network, and anybody else she was studying to see how she can get ahead. And Portia, she's just not that smart yet. She 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 just need to be a model and go on out there and don't talk, just present fashion and her face. That's all she need to do from this point on, because I don't think uh Portia is going to actually actually rein in any of her anger management problems, and she just uh. Uh, wants to be in that limelight with the rich and famous okay and she has an addiction problem towards wanting to be a, 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 a wife of somebody of great stature and that's her claim to fame and that's what she's sticking with it and that's just where it's going to be with her I have no more high hopes of her uh, trying to be her own boss of the businesswoman it's just not there it's not in her because it's because if she didn't change this this train of thinking at her age now, which is 40, I don't believe she's going to be changing it when she hit 50. It's just going to be something that's just there. And who she's following, more than likely, is NeNe. And uh, we see where NeNe is headed. She's on a college show calling herself reminiscent. I don't know. One of my fame's uh, family members on YouTube did say something about she had spent two years in college now was she going to a four-year institution because those two years is just equivalent to a bachelor's degree and that's not a hill i mean uh, uh to an associate's degree and right now that's uh not that's a uh, that's just like a uh what do you call it a uh, high school diploma so that's hill of the beans ain't gonna be worth two cents uh for nini to try to say she entered into college and I was like, oh, Lord. and I remember, and hopefully she's watching my videos concurrently all the time I drop something out. But I think her name was Kathy Smith. I'm looking in my old phone to make sure that I had mentioned her again. She was the one that told me about Nene. So shout out to my family member, Kathy Smith, was telling me that Nene was basically gonna be on a BET show or a reboot of College Hill and she wanted to know did I know did I know anything about that or I could speak on it and I told her yes I had already heard from my daughter and I would be doing something on that which I did so if y'all haven't partaked in that video make sure y'all go in there and share me some, show me some love and watch that video and comment and let me know what y'all thought about it uh, cuz I'm like she and then going she trying in and everything to make a dollar uh, make 15 cents out of a dollar out of 15 cents. You know how you used to say that shit a long time ago. But, uh, you know, I'm not really getting on Nene, but see, Nene had a time and opportunity in the past to, uh, do things like this to support black colleges and to go in and see them and probably speak at them and be an honorary, uh, member of their institution. Uh, 
but she didn't do that you know she didn't want to be on totally black own show or shows or you know being a part of an all black cast she, she don't want that she wanted to be with you know the white folks and and, and the jewish folks and, and and asian folks anybody else she could be with but her own kind and those same actor and actresses that had her up there that held her into some type of esteem um what we call it uh can't think of the word y'all just just blew my mind right there i had two thoughts in my head going at one time and, and the other one worn out but they ain't got nothing to do with you do but they had her held her in the highest regard to what they could hold her in and you know she just didn't fit the club she just wasn't the material they were looking for they thought they were the material she was the material but they like no uh no it's gonna be a no for us so you know how they be doing on those shows like the voice and um American Idol, <laughs> they have three or four people up there as panelists, judges, and once you finish doing your rendition or something or whatever, uh, they be like, uh, no, it's going to be a no for me this time. <laughs> and that's pretty much what they told Nene when she went to Hollywood and things just was not working out. And opportunities were uh, being, uh, where well, they were disappearing as quick as they were being created. But they didn't have her name on any of it so it's just like she was dissolving right before their eyes and they quickly turned her around and sent her back to Atlanta so Portia's kind of mostly up in that same era of things uh she had it all in her hands and she lost it you know how they say it uh as quick as you gain it the quicker you can lose it as well in the blink of an eye and that's pretty much what happened to Portia and what has happened to Nene they saw too much they bit off too much and their mouth couldn't catch couldn't cash the checks that them women their their mouth couldn't cash the checks it's something like that. Y'all get in the comments. You know how I always get started. And I be on a, a tantrum. And, and then I can't complete the. Uh, what do you call it? The um, the slogan. Of a uh, saying. I wanted to. Uh, wait a minute, don't catch something. What your ass can't cash. Don't let your mouth say something. That your ass can't cash. Something to that degree. But y'all know where I'm going with it. Y'all bring it home for me. Okay. Bring it home. For uh, Auntie Deb, all right, Grandma Deb, Cousin Deb, Sister Deb, however y'all look at me, all right. But I'm one of y'all family members. I've adopted y'all, and I hope y'all adopted me. But <laughs> that was just too much to even contemplate on, and it's just trying to be silly as hell and trying to start something between the sisters, okay? When I say sisters, I'm talking about the sisters' race, like women taking up for women and all that kind of stuff. He wanted to start some petty ass drama between Portia and Candy, but like I said, nope, Candy's on another whole level. <laughs> She's on another whole level, level from Portia and Nene. She knows when to keep her mouth closed, when to open her mouth open, and when to express what she needs to express in a kosher way. Not aggressively and not interrogatingly. Okay? So, I was like, go ahead, Candy. You went in there. You were talking about your show and this, that, and the third. When he tried to throw you a curveball through somebody else asking you the question that he wanted to hear it anyway but was too afraid to ask himself but you handled it well done girl well done you make lemons turn into lemonade and i was like i salute you girl all right but um that's all I have for this video, guys. I'm like, look, look at Andy trying to be shady. Now, you know, Porsche was trying to be shady, too. When she called herself supporting Candy. When her show hadn't come out yet. Trying to, you know, tell everybody, you know, go on over there and watch Candy's show. That's going to be premiering on the 6th. And this, that, and the 3rd. She's on her Twitter account. She's on Candy's account. Trying to give her good vibes and all like that. And Candy would have been a fool to not have said something nice back to Portia and see that's what Andy was uh depending on that she would say some snotty snooty and nasty about Portia but she nope even though she might not like the uh ground Portia Portia walks on <laughs> you would never know honey you would never know all right 
So that was funny, but I, I was so glad that Candace said and did and perceived the perception correctly. The optics were beautiful. So my thing is, Portia, you can learn a thing or two from watching Candy in action. And even though she may not feel a certain way, you would never know it. Because she's going to play it, she's going to act it, try and true, and make you think that the relationship between her and Portia are kosher. They ain't best buds, but they will sit in the same room. They would kiki laugh, and when everything is over with, they would go their separate ways. <laughs> and if they did, were behind closed doors doing something, you would never know because it would never come out of Candace's mouth. And hopefully, Portia have learned her lesson and won't divulge anything that they may do behind closed doors too whether it's personal or whether it's business related okay because everything don't have to be told to everybody other masses okay because that's sometimes how shit get fucked up all right but i wanted to just express my you know um feelings on how portia uh well not portia but candy had a, handled a situation that could have turned into a negative situation between her and portia but she didn't do it she was the bigger person and she played it fabulously so now portia we can get you to come out your hole that you don't dug yourself in because you're kind of like hit rock bottom as well you're sitting over there looking all sad and and, and i'm going to get into a, a video on that shortly after i drop this one and, and you're just looking, I don't know, I, I don't know what to say. It's looking kind of homely now, Portia. Kind of looking kind of homely to where you're not even looking happy when you're with your baby girl trying to do something with her. But that man you call your boyfriend, I know you call him something else. But just, you know, for me and my channel and me expressing my ways, we're going to call him your glorified boyfriend. He's sitting up there like a lump on a log, a bump on a log. Uh, uh, what do you call it? I don't know shit on a log. That's what he just gets on my nerves. That's what he looks like. Because every time I see him, he's got his shirt off. I ain't looking. You know, I ain't much to look at either. I ain't going to say I'm all that. God damn. You know what I'm saying? Every time I look at him, he look like a piece of shit. Sitting up there drinking brown liquor and smoking a cigar. And he think he in heaven somewhere. I'm like, oh my goodness. And then Portia's sitting up there uh, behind him doing something with her daughter pj and don't neither one of them look happy okay P Portia definitely don't look happy but uh baby girl was looking like uh what are you doing mama uh when are you gonna let me do it mama you know she was looking intently but it, it seemed like something was missing it was not really you know in a house with a, a, a child that small everything's supposed to be kind of like toys everywhere you know what i'm saying they don't experience everything they don't you know got into their surroundings don't make it they made it their own but it's just like it's cold almost what uh portia kind of uh alluded to when we, i was reading her book and she had a page in there or a chapter in there where she was talking about Cordell had bought this home for them for a wedding present and this that and the third and it just felt like a cold prison and that's what i kind of uh when i saw the optics that they were giving me on his instagram page uh, where he had took pictures of them or somebody took pictures they didn't look happy they didn't look you know it's just like they this space was theirs and they were having their moment together but it wasn't as joyful as Portia has shown us when it's her and her daughter together and the house is just messed up but it's a cute mess up it's like you know um PJ is enjoying her environment. She's loving everything. And she's just, you know, everywhere and nowhere at the same damn time. But she's laughing. She's happy. Her mama, Portia, is laughing and happy. And showing us all the comings and goings that they uh, do when they're at home. And that's what I, I miss seeing on her Instagram when I do go over there. It's not, you know, it's just all about her and Simon. It's all just so... I don't know orchestrated like it's she, she's giving us this perfect picture to look at and it's supposed to uh be relatable to the life that she's living with simon but it's not it's not it was dreadful but anyway that's all i had for this video uh and hopefully y'all will come watch some more of my videos and give me likes and share my videos and definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the family yet what are you waiting on <laughs> Go ahead and do it.
it. Hit that button, okay? And stay tuned for many, many videos to come. All right, but that's all I got for this video, guys. Like it, love it, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.